in our previous session we have understood the cart scenario now in this previously whatever html code we have written now we are going to write more code so that we can work on cart section so previously this was our output we have displayed three cards and that is static data now from here what i am going to do first i will remove this two diff containers all the data i have to display dynamically so i do not want this static data i will save now if i just refresh i am having only one product now whatever data i am having inside the product table that product i have to insert here so i have just removed the static data now inside this cart we are going to write only once and using while loop we are just going to display multiple times before that whenever i click on this add to cart whatever data i am having inside this cart this data has to be stored inside the cart table so for that what we will be doing we will be creating input field for our product name for product price for product image as hidden fields below this diff price i will come down i will write input into tree i just want to create the input field i will just format this one to select multiple data just press alt key and i will be removing instead of text i am just going to write hidden i will save this now if i just refresh this you can see those input fields are not visible if i just do control z now again if i refresh this input fields are displayed here okay but it is not visible because we have already given stylings for this i will just remove i will write hidden save i will refresh this now that input fields have gone from here for this input field we have to give the most important attribute that is name and here i'm just going to give the name as product name same thing this will be our product price this data we are going to access and this data we are going to insert inside cart table and here let me just write product price whatever name you want you can give i will just write product image we have added name attributes now to access this name attribute we need one method so we are having this diff container before this we are just going to create one form i will remove this let me just write here form and inside this form we are going to give the method as post method post what we have done we have just created three hidden input fields which will be having name price and image and this entire thing we have just wrapped inside one form and i'm just going to close our form here this is our diff container before that i have just opened this form and for this form i have just given the method as post and action i'm just going to give empty i'm just going to perform the action in the same file now from this input field i just have to access this values whenever i click on this add to cart whatever values i am having inside this input field that data i am going to store inside the cart table i will come up before this i am just going to write our php code php i will close this and here first thing we have to include our connect file i will just write include connect.php below this i'm just going to check it is set if my post method is set and when i click on the submit button i will come here for this submit button also we have to give the name attribute i will just write here name and here i'm just going to give add to cart i will copy this 
and inside this post method i'm just going to paste if my button is clicked only then i have to access the data which is present inside that products card i will be creating one variable products name so before writing this code first you have to understand the scenario which we have seen in our last session if you don't understand the scenario this will be very difficult to understand to access the data we are going to write post method and inside this hidden input field we are having product name i will select this and here i'm just going to paste in the same way i will just write here product price here and here i will remove this i will write product price and finally we have this product image i will select this and for image we are giving here post method because we are not inserting the image we are just inserting the path of the image whatever path we are having here that we are just going to insert so we are not going to insert the image only the path because we will be displaying the image in this tag inside this input field we are just storing the path inside the cart table as soon as we go to cart that product image will already be displayed because it will be selecting the path and for product image i will just write a text i will refresh this one now you can see here you can see the blink i am just going to inspect this now when i just hover on this let me just open my form inside this we are having this hidden input fields for image you can see input field is visible here it is highlighted in blue color and these two input fields are hidden so as soon as i click on this add to cart the hidden data whatever i am having here that will be stored inside the cart table let me change back to hidden here what we have done we have just created three input hidden fields which will be holding our product name product price and product image and we have given name attributes and here also we have given name attribute and this entire diff we have just wrapped inside the form so that we can pass this method and above this we have just written php code we have included our connect file and we are just taking if our add to cart button is clicked only then i am accessing all the hidden input field data now this data we will be inserting inside cart table and for that we have to check some conditions that we are going to see in next session